Hello fellow farmers in the house, welcome to Shine Agribees. My name is Kevin, a poultry farming expert under the management of AIM Agriculture. Behind me those are chicken medicine. Under chicken medicine we have a fridge. Inside your fridge I've stored chicken vaccines. And today we are going to talk about vaccination and medication under poultry farming. And then on that note, I'll share with you three vaccination programs for layers chicken broilers chicken and indigenous chicken that we usually use. Then still, I will share with you a tips or a simple formula you will be using to determine the amount of water you need to mix 1000 dose of Gumboro vaccine and 1000 dose of Newcastle vaccine. As we continue, still I will share with you some tips on how to store chicken medicine. So stay tuned, I am going to share with you through slides. Take a look. When you invest in poultry business, it means you will expect either double, triple or even more than what you invested as a return at the end of a certain period of time and that is what we call profit. So don't let poultry diseases limit your target. Chicken diseases are very dangerous and therefore never accept them to attack your farm because they might clear all of your flock and that one will be a very big loss after spending a lot of time and resources to raise them. Make sure you maintain biosecurity to win all types of diseases. The main reason why we vaccinate our birds is to boost their immune system or it's like providing a shield for them against all viruses diseases like Newcastle, Gumboro, Fallpox, Fall Typhoid, among others. If you are planning to keep commercial hybrid layers chicken, then you must vaccinate them because all exotic chicken are mostly affected by the above mentioned virus diseases. It is not a must to vaccinate pure local chicken because they are the most tolerant against all type of diseases but you can only give them vitamin to keep them healthier. But those who keep improved local chicken or improved kinyeji, they must also vaccinate their birds. If you want to stay with your birds much longer in the farm and reduce mortalities, then you should vaccinate your birds to keep them much healthier. I'm going to share with you vaccination program that we usually use. Number one is layers vaccination program. And this is how it looks like. Number two is broilers chicken. And this is how their vaccination program looks like. Number three is improved indigenous chicken. And this is how their vaccination program looks like. The following are some of the rules in your poultry farm during vaccination. The rule number one, never vaccinate sick chicken because vaccines are more powerful and it might kill your bird instead of helping it. Number two, never mix vaccines with antibiotics. Then number three, never mix vaccines with chlorine water. From my previous video, when we talked about stress in chicken, I told you vaccination also usually stress your chicken so as I told you it's good to give them vitamin for three days after every vaccine to avoid stressing them since vaccines are more reactive in their bodies the following are multivitamins you can give your birds number one is avitonic plus number two is amino vital number three you can use Vita Poultry, among others. And if your chicken is showing 
a bacterial disease, you can give them antibiotics like uh, alisaril, biosol, or you can give them tylodox. It depends with signs and symptoms. Chicken vaccines are usually administered through drinking water, eye drop, nozzle drops, a wing tub, injection, or in form of sprays. It depends with the, the one you have around. So you can take any according to your choice, but make sure you consult your vet around you. There are two common vaccines that usually confuse our farmers when they want to dissolve in water. This is Gumboro and Newcastle vaccine. So, how much water do we need to dissolve 1,000 dose vaccine of Gumboro and 1,000 doses vaccine of Newcastle? The formula is simple and note this formula is only applicable for the first two months. Past there, you will have to approximate the amount of water your chicken usually drink in two hours. So suppose you want to mix 1,000 doses of Newcastle and your buds are two weeks old. So the formula is simple. We usually say or take the number of buds you multiply by their age and their age should be in form of days then you divide by 1000 and that one will be the amount of water your chicken will drink example you have 2000 chicken then their age is 14 days old so how do we calculate that you say 2,000 chicken you multiplied by 14 those are days then you divide by a thousand then you'll get the amount of water to be 28 liters same same formula will be applied when you mix gumboro vaccine and before you give them drinking water vaccines make sure they are thirsty by starving them at least two hours so that they can drink those medicine accordingly. How do we store or keep poultry medicine and vaccines? Remember, some vaccines are live as I told you, especially the one we keep in our fridge. So make sure your fridge is on 24 hours. And once you open a vaccine, just use it the way it is. Don't bring it back because that is waste. Once you open, just use it. All leftovers, just throw them away. That's all about vaccination and medication. Last but not least, some chicken diseases have the same signs and symptoms. And they, they, they might confuse you in another way. Example, fall cholera and coccidiosis, they usually have almost the same signs and symptoms. So you cannot identify unless you do a post-mortem. So, my point is, it's better to prevent than to cure. That's all. Thank you very much. Kindly subscribe to my channel.